In addition to the flowcharts that we're going to be creating in Visual Logic, we're going to be also creating other types of diagrams throughout the course. In the first two assignments of Chapter 2, you're going to have to do hierarchy diagrams. I'm using Kaku. There's a link in the classroom for this and it's a free program and it's really easy to use and you only need it at the free level. They do have higher levels but you don't need them. I'm going to begin with the basic option but we do have software options if we were to be going forward and doing other types of diagrams which you'll do later in the class. But for the first hierarchy chart we're just going to basic because all I really need is a rectangle. I'm going to start by drawing my rectangle up here at the top of my page and I kind of like to copy and paste these so I get my first three all set up because I like them to be the same size I think it looks good and then I will get them all lined up here move this inspector over out of the way and to add text to any of these you just double click on them and so at the top part you always have the program name and the demonstration I'm going to do both here and in the visual logic program is triangle area because I'm showing you how to do calculations. Now our first section which is typically the housekeeping section will be get um, information. We're going to ask for base and height. I'm just going to leave that as information. We're going to call this one. It's typically your detail, your processing. We're going to do calculations here. And this is usually pretty high level. For the simple program that we're doing, this would be all that we need. And we would display results. And these are typically referred to, written sort of like modules, um, because when we get into breaking programs down into parts, these are areas that we could break down and call and modularize, which is why they get open and close parentheses, which indicates that these could be modules and they are typically put in there that way. We could go one level further here. It's not really necessary to go to this level of detail. I just want to show you how you do the next level because there are two inputs we would get. So I'm going to drag that out here and I'm going to make it a little bit wider and I'm going to type in get base and then I'm going to drag in another one, line it up where I want it. And I'm going to do get height. Put these both under here. Watch out for typos. And then I can draw my lines. Okay. I'm going to get these just a little bit further apart to make it a little bit easier to draw my lines. And it's very easy and if I wanted to delete one when they're selected I can hit the delete key. If I want to undo something I can just hit the undo up here. So if you make a mistake don't panic about it. I'm going to draw my line and so I'm going to draw a line to connect the top level. and all those connection lines going. There's no arrows in the hierarchy chart like there would be in the flow chart. So I can just drop my arrows in here and I did not do that right so again I would click off of it, click on it, delete it. Very easy to fix. Click my arrow line again because I want to actually have a Another line right in here that connects down to each of these boxes. And connects up to the top one. I've got a couple lines in here that are crooked. So I'm just going to go and delete the crooked lines and redraw them. That one's crooked. That one's crooked. That one. Make me delete both. Okay, I'll just redraw that whole thing. Not perfect the way I would want it to be, but it's a pretty good program and it's free. So I'll go in here, 
to redraw my lines again, and I'm not really worried when you hand something in if it's got a couple crooked lines in it, it does not really bother me. The important thing is to get the basic order of the program correct. That's the critical thing to me is that you're really planning the logic of the program. And so you can see we have triangle area, we have get information, calculations, display results, get base, get height. Now you'd have to share this, not share this, you want to export this to send it to me. And so I want you to export everything as a ping and so you'll give it a name, triangle hierarchy. And I will go ahead and save that into my applied logic folder. I recommend that you have a folder for all of your work. And I'll just put it in with my visual logic programs because that's everything for this class. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I would be able to go in and hand that is in as an attachment in the discussion where we're going to have you hand in the plans for your programs. For every program that you're doing, every program plan that you're doing, you're going to hand in your org chart if you're doing that one, the hierarchy chart for it, your visual logic file, everything will be handed in so that we can look at them and review them. So I could keep going and make these completely straight, which I would, but I don't want to make everybody watch this for that long. But this is basically how to use Kaku. It's pretty easy, very easy to export, costs nothing. It's a great little tool and you should be able to use this now to do your hierarchy charts for your program planning.